Hey YouTube, this is my first Marvel Legends figure review, and I'm proud to have it be my custom Captain America 2, the Winter Soldier Falcon figure. Uh, I really wanted them to make a figure, but they didn't say anything about it, and the select was too big for my displays, so I just decided to go and make my own. In the movie, we see Steve Rogers running down a path, and he crosses Sam Wilson multiple times. Eventually he gets kind of annoyed of it. Uh, when Cap needs some help, he recruits Sam, not knowing that he was a paratrooper. And they enlist his special Falcon Project wingsuit. The figure is based off of the Toy Biz Blade figure. Just um, kind of a lot of modification. I included removable goggles, which have a rubber band at the back, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. Wings are posable, and um, you know if you want to get his arms up like he's in a flying pose, like in that one cool part when they like jump off the helicarrier, you can totally do that. And if you just want to have him, you know, about to jump off in that like sick scene that we saw in the trailer like 50 times because we couldn't get enough of it, you can have him without his wings at first. Comes with the jetpack on the back. You just Put it into this little peg slot and I mean that's not going anywhere this isn't just like you know on there that's that's on there the wings are semi translucent they're not 100% I didn't want to do it like a completely translucent plastic because as we see in the movie they're not totally see-through so it wouldn't be you know as accurate to the movie and you know if we're gonna have an accurate Falcon figure we might as well go all the way. So they're made from translucent plastic with multiple, multiple layers because I wanted it to actually look like the wing set from the movie. I know that the Select is just a solid piece of plastic painted gray and dark gray, but I just couldn't settle for that. He also comes with the pistols from the Captain Steve Rogers figure that we got in the Zola Wave, I believe. No, I just remembered Terax wave, my bad. Alright, so yeah, I didn't I don't really have my Commander Rogers with his pistols and I just had these in the box and I thought they looked great on him, so I'm including those too. Alright, let's cover his articulation. His head can move side to side very slightly. It can move down a little bit, it can move up a lot, which is good because you want him to get into flying poses. As you saw, his wings can pose all the way up and they cannot go back very far, very slightly, and then, you know, centered. Um, he has ball-jointed arms, which are um, pretty tight. They're not too loose. Double-jointed elbows. He's got a wrist swivel, as well as a hinge. And he's got clamping action, which is good to hold his guns in. He's got a crazy diaphragm joint that moves to the side a lot. And um, it doesn't really get in the way of the zipper a lot because you can line it up. It moves back enough for you to get him into a flying pose. It moves forward a lot. He's got another ball joint down here that moves out all the way. Double jointed knees. Almost no boot articulation at all. Like you really can't move it. And he's got toe articulation. But I don't think that matters because you're probably going to have this guy like in flying poses. You're not going to waste him on the ground. I tried to make him as to scale as possible. He stands just at about six inches, a little more, but his wingspan is a foot across from wing to wing. Here's the Falcon next to a couple of other Winter Soldier movie figures. I think they work in great scale with each other. Here's Falcon next to Falcon in his red and white outfit. I know that Anthony Mackie was kind of bummed out that he couldn't be in it, but I think that this costume was the perfect choice for the style of movie he was in. It would be cool to see him in some sort of red flight suit if they brought him out in another Avengers movie, but as far as we know so far, he's not going to be appearing in his wingsuit in Avengers 2, so we'll see what Civil War brings. I love this figure a lot, and I had a lot of fun making it. I hate to see it go, but I really need the money right now. So... If you're interested, he will be posted on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description. If you're watching this after January 5th, 
2015. I'm sorry you've missed out on it, but I hope you enjoy the video and you know any feedback, any suggestions for any future customs in case I attempt to recreate this guy one day would be appreciated. Thanks for watching my very first Legends review. Glad you could be a part of it and hopefully there will be many more. I just want to dedicate this video to Shardim's Prime. Um, man, I've been watching your videos for years and, you know, I don't just enjoy watching because I like the figures. Um, I'll just sit down and watch his videos because he's, like, totally entertaining. Like, he he's the one who does this stuff right, you know. He, he made me want to start reviewing these figures and, you know, collecting other figures that I didn't even know about, like SH Figure Arts and stuff like that. So, I want to say thank you, Shardimus, because... People like you, you know, make a difference and change people's lives. And I think it's really cool what you do. And I hope you keep doing it for a long time. I just keep thinking to myself, like, if Shardimus Prime won the eBay auction and reviewed this, I would totally lose my mind.